Hey guys, just a quick thing before we start. If it looks a little bit choppy, don't worry. I fixed that about partway through this video. And so the actual meat of the game will look buttery smooth. It's just the initial bit before I actually realized there was something horribly wrong with my setup. Anyway, sorry, and thanks for watching. All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Creature in the Well. So this is one of those games that I honestly had never heard about until I think like two weeks ago. And then it just showed up in my inbox, and I'm like, oh, well, this is this is actually kind of cool looking. I, I like the idea of this. Uh, what is it? And the answer is, it's kind of like a dungeon crawler pinball game, which is very strange, because I, I, like, who would do this? I don't know. These people, I guess. And, yeah, it just, it just showed up. And then almost, like, within a day or two... I see this, like, really slick trailer for this game. And, seriously, look it up. The The trailer for this is awesome. It's it's perfectly timed to the music and so on and so forth. And it's one of those, like, minute and a half long just trailer things to sell the game. And it was just composed and choreographed so perfectly that I was just like, Oh, shit. This went from you know, kind of somewhere on the, the backlog of games I need to cover to game that I absolutely need to cover immediately. Uh, and then I actually got to see the developer, uh, one of the two of them, I think, at PAX West a week ago. Week ago, what am I saying? A couple of days ago, it's only, I've only been home for two days. And so, <laughs> it kind of sucked a little bit because I was watching other people play and I'm like, I want to play, but I should wait because, like, I want this to be a fresh experience. And so, fresh experience, here we go. Hi, it seems to have forgotten my controller. Well, that's fine. I note to self-charge this thing. Oh, here we go, we can actually move. So, new game, new game. Uh, I should probably mention the art style. Might look kind of like uh, Mike Mignola's stuff. This is, this is intentional. The, the, uh, the guy I was talking to was the artist, and he was very inspired by Hellboy. It is Mike Mignola, right? Mom, is anything beyond the edge of the storm? Yep, Mike Mignola. No, dear, there's nothing past the wind and the sand. There's only our village and the mountain. Pipe. This is cool. I can just scoot. I could walk. But scooting, I think, is faster. We might have to turn this down even further. Can I? Map, temple, settings. Is this crackling for anybody else, or is it just on my end? Because if it's on my end, I can deal with it. But if everybody else is hearing it, then I need to fix my setup. No crackle? Okay. Oh? A lone engineer returns to the machine in my mountain. After all this time, remember you and the rest of your kin were trying to save this town. You're here to finish what you started. You should turn back. I will be watching. God, I love this art style. Like... Indie games are really cool. Oh, 
I'm just gonna send them out. So it looks like they can only go for so long. Um, indie games are really cool. Let's see, I'm just gonna bonk these around for a while. Not necessarily great at this, but that's fine. I don't have to be great at this. I just have to learn as I go and then we'll be okay. Anyway, uh, I love video games because they often try and push, uh, let's see, add power, perfect. They kind of push the boundaries on a lot of interesting things. It be it genres, uh, uh, genres are kind of the main one that I can think of, whoops. Okay, so we need, we need the charge sword. Hold Y, press X. Okay, that's really cool. This is really cool. Uh, and so in this case, let's see, so we've got the pipe. But yeah, we've got the charge sword to make, to combine like a bunch of these. Oh, that's cool. Uh, but so like this. Have you ever seen a game that even attempts to do this? This art style or... Uh, either this art style or this like gameplay style? Because I haven't. Like, the th closest thing I can think of is Lethal League. Okay, so watch it. My own murder balls can hurt me. I will keep that in mind. Hello, door. Secret path revealed. Ow. That was altogether way too much power. I'm not sure what happens when I die here. Hopefully we'll be okay. Hopefully we can go back. Maybe. Okay, this is cool. Yeah, so I gotta make sure I'm not, like, carrying too much power for too long. But that should be okay. Curious how I heal. I guess we'll find out. I shouldn't have done that. Well, I... I will decide what to do about you later. I missed something. Complete, incomplete. Your temple? Not sure. Healing. Okay. I missed something, though. Can I go back? Am I allowed to? Ow. Oh, hold, hold B to dash. There's kind of a sprint. Let's try going the other way for a second, because it said a secret path was revealed. Oh, boy, I'm in trouble now. Because that is really expensive, so there's got to be a fast travel of some variety. Because that hurt really bad. Obviously, I should have been more patient there. Uh, hi? Ah, got it. I guess we go down. But yeah, that was way too expensive for a pole boy like me. Okay, can I interact with these? Reserve power monolith. Failsafe power reserves. In the event of Botsy program failure, this facility prevents system-wide data loss. Ready for activation. Or system monoliths. Security and data archival systems to prevent anomalous access or modification of core functionality and system logs. Support monoliths. 
Array of support systems required for botsy development, town infrastructure, and weather control. Weather control monolith contains primary control room for activating weather analysis and storm regu regulation. Okay, so we activated that. Gauges preserve power systems. Okay, so that's activated now. What if I go this way? Oh, hi. I'll be damned. You're an engineer for the Bot C program. I've never seen a living engineer before. I heard they all disappeared a long time ago. My grandfather told me the machine can't work without them, so it's been dormant ever since. Holy cow, you got it open! So, uh, if you're headed in there, I should warn you. Uh, see what you can find, but be careful. The creature in the well does not like anyone messing with the machine. Please don't disappear like the rest of them. Interesting. Okay, so I can heal in the water. What else do we have here? So, power reserves, temple. Hmm. Interesting that I can just leave like this. Feels like I'm missing something. So, this is the town. Maybe once there's power in here, we can actually explore. Hello, Botsy engineer. Funny to watch you wander aimlessly. You even remember me from before the storm. The people of this town know no truth of you or your purpose. You're as old and useless as the machine in my mountain. I will wait you out. You will lose steam and abandon this task. Yes, Botsy Engineer. This is a new age, Engineer. It's mine, and it has no space for you. You had your chance to save the town, and you failed. When you faced me in the mountain, your collective crumbled. Do not pretend that you can ignore me. This town trapped itself inside the storm, and I am here to make sure it stays that way. Now go away. Before long you will succumb to me, just as the people of Mirage have. Oh wow, yeah, that frame rate is really bad. Why is that happening? Alright, give me a second. Okay, I got it working. The frame rate should look considerably less choppy. I think. It looks smoother. Okay, I am sorry about that for those of you that had to deal with that. Hopefully it wasn't too bad. Uh, but... So, to explain my problem, I have a... This is different. Looks like it's just kind of a practice zone. More than anything else, okay. Uh, so I had it plugged into my, uh, my USB hub, which I'm not supposed to do. Uh, because I had hastily reconnected everything after having technical difficulties when installing... What happens when I go this way? This is interesting. I don't think I'm supposed to go this way, so I'm just gonna go back. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so I'm currently between computers. I just got my new hard drive. Uh, let's see, what if I go in here? Chest? Cooking pan! Packs a punch kind of loud, though. <gasps> Wooden spoon! Great for making gumbo! Oh my god. It's... It's perfect. Uh, let's see. Hi! Gods and engineer, I hope you're here to finish the work you all started. Lots of time has passed, centuries actually, there's still a lot of darkness in that mountain. There's not much for me to do around here these days since the machine lost power. How much fire is inside of you, I wonder? Hmm. Oh, that's a Danielle. Transfer coil. Offline. Okay. So I think we gotta get the power back on uh, to some substantive degree before we can actually use anything in here. Shh. 
can hear it outside. That's cool. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I, I originally had plugged in my new computer and I was gonna just transfer over to that. However, the CPU was bad and was running at 100 degrees Celsius. No idea why. I've done all the tech support I could possibly do. Something was seriously wrong with it, and that was it. Yes, I put on the thermal paste. No, there was not plastic film. For the love of God, I've answered that like five times, and no matter how many times I say it, people still ask those same questions. And yes, I had a heatsink, and it was a decent one. I don't know what else. <laughs> Seriously, every time I try and do tech support woes, everybody immediately just starts treating me like a like I missed some basic step. Ow! I see. There we go, got it. Okay. Ow. There we go, I kind of understand. There we go. I still kind of understand. I mostly don't. This is confusing. Anyway, uh, so yeah, my computer was having issues. I had to unplug it. The hard drive died too, which is annoying too. So I had to quickly plug this current computer back in so I could actually use it again. I'm just gonna go back and heal, seeing as we're so close. And considering you actually can take damage in here. Uh, anyway. Uh, let's see. I might want to turn the sound, sound effects down some more because it's mostly just clonk. I don't know. We'll see if that, that works or not. I really... Sound effects just don't do it for me in a lot of games. I don't know why. Anyway, uh, let's see. So yeah, I had to furiously plug this current computer back in and plugged the Elgato into the wrong thing. Which is why it was so super choppy in the beginning. This explanation is kind of hard. Uh... Ow! Okay, so I can redo that, interestingly enough. Huh. That's cool. Let's see, let's just send them out into the wild. Understand nothing, I just mash and eventually win, I think. Kinda works. Hopefully I can bank more more power eventually and go back to that one zone. I see. This is cool. Ow. Damn it. I stand right here. I should be out of the firing zone. That's cool. 
Okay, so we got that open, but we've got more here. We got door one. That's very expensive, so we'll come back later. Door two. Let's go through the door on the right. Let's see what we got over here. to kind of aim. There we go. Okay, so this is going to give me a whole lot of power. Boy. He's just going to keep shooting at me, isn't he? Alright, let's get out of here then. Let's see, what about this side? you have for me. Ah! Well, that kind of works. These turrets are just mean. There we go. Boy, is that satisfying when it happens. Like, insanely so. Okay, so let's get back out of here. I was expecting there would be more, more goodies, but I guess we're going to have to wait until we get upgrades. I'm pretty sure there is an upgrade system in this. Uh, this again? I mean, I'm not going to pass up on the free power. Oh. Yeah, so it looks like I can just reuse a number of these as free power rooms as you go through. Not always, but still. So bad. But yeah, it looks like we're not limited. Like we can redo these for extra for extra juice. Ow. Shit. This hurts. A lot.
Okay, got it. That hurt a lot. Secret path revealed. Cool. Ow. I. Fan blade. Recharge energy from the ball. When the energy is... Receives power from an external source. Oh. That's cool. Is this cut off for you guys? Yeah, it, uh, no, it's not cut off for you guys, but it's actually, uh, it's not matched to my screen very well. Eh, tech problems that I don't like. Sup? Why are you just lurking? No idea. Either way, we just got a, uh, we just got a new thing, and hopefully that means I can heal. Okay, looks like there's no time limit on these. So really, the only things that are particularly rude are just the, uh... Oh, let's see. Just the puzzle rooms. And I died. Well, let's find out what happens when... The oh! Okay. I wonder what happens. No. We're still going, so... cool. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how to calibrate my, my TV. Probably gonna get my new computer installed tomorrow with a VR headset and everything. So, we'll see how this goes. So, this shunts me back to the very beginning. Maybe we get fast travel after we complete the next section. Don't know. Also, I think a number of the doors might still be open as well. Okay. And it looks like... It looks like I can also go bananas here and get, like, extra power. We just don't get uh, those big energy generators that give you loads. Probably switch away from the uh, frying pan. It's hilarious. But yeah. Could I run past them since I've cleared all the puzzles? Yes. I could. The only reason why I'm not is because more power to me? Question mark? But yeah, I've, I've cleared every puzzle up until this point. So it's not that it sends me back. Switch away from the uh, frying pan. As funny, funny as it is, it is kind of loud. But yeah, I'm just going to accept the extra free power as we go go by. Like, it's, it's really not much of a long run back, but it does provide some extra convenient little benefits if I so chose to go for them a second time around. Like, this room's probably worth it. Like, even if, even if it's still just getting me chump change power-wise. 
worth it. And then at some point we get the upgrade system and hopefully that'll result in some cool bits. Okay. That is fun. Ow. Secret path revealed. I like these little secret paths. They're fun. Old core. Might be usable to repair or upgrade a working core. And also a reserves banner. Colors worn by the Botsy workers to kept the team running. The bookkeepers, the reason, well, and the rest of it's gone. That goes by a little bit fast, but that's fine. So I have a cape now. Uh, the book bookkeepers are the of the resources and the coin counters. Ow. Oh good, Healy Room. Well this is... You have been busy. It's making me angry. Unlocking locks and bringing the machine online. Do not test my patience, Engineer. I have slain many of your kind before. Heck, I'm into this game, if only to find out what the heck that guy's about. Okay, so note to self. Can bonk those. Okay. Should be good. This is cool. Soundtrack is cool. Okay, so watch out for those. There we go. Silly viruses. I guess they're not healing me, but that's okay. And the creature withdraws. This is rad. Like, it's such a simple concept, but expressed in such an interesting way. Log entry, 180, Philip Frog, Project Lead. I'm working late into the night every day now. There are more people arriving in town every day, fleeing the giant wall of sand. I must finish the work soon. Log entry, 214, Philip Frog, Project Lead. This part of the machine uses a special energy that keeps attracting the local plants. I worry that in the long term, parts of the section may be overgrown by local flora. Log entry 427 unknown. The work to complete the machine seems to be progressing as planned, but there are noises coming out of the darkness in the mountain. I can't tell if it's the engineers at work or something else. About this one. A scribble is taped to the console. Reminder, increase power reserves capacity to reduce the chance of total p power failure. We must ensure that one of the Botsy engineers would be able to manually restore the power, restore power to the entire machine by going room to room. Oh. Well, I wasn't supposed to do that yet. Back we go! Turns out that was the fast travel out of there. Whoops! 
I've been on the plus side. Fast travel. Heck yeah. Okay, let's try this again. Monolith power restored. Okay, so this is... This is charged up. Now we get it. Thanks. Now we get out of here. Heal up. I'm on his broom. Oh boy, it's happening. You got one of those rock things turned on. If I remember right, the mechanical pillars on the platform up there each represent a different part of my family's machine. Sorry, I guess it's kind of your machine too. Nobody remembers his real name. I call it the Weather Tether. I'm kind of embarrassed I told you that. Uh, ages ago, people of Mirage asked my family to build this machine. They said a sandstorm was coming, bigger than they'd seen before. The Weather Tether was gonna stop it before it arrived. They built you and hundreds like you to provide power and keep things running. But something went wrong and they never got it working. Storm came, but now the whole world is nothing but sand and wind. Sometimes I wonder if there ever was anything at all beyond the sand. I don't like thinking about it. Okay, so now let's try going out to town. Let's see if we can interact with that one shopkeeper. God, that is such a cool, cool visual. Ah, transfer coil, so I can level up my bot. Bot core level two. I don't know what that does. So my machines have started working again. You got any? You have anything to do with this? I guess I could thank. I should thank you. I could upgrade that core of yours with the right parts. I've got an old cord we could use. Why don't you have it? Take it to my transfer coil over there and give it some power. Take your time. I can upgrade to level three. Heck if I know what level three does. So, my machines have started working again. Do you have anything to do with this? Okay. Cool, done. So I'm now at level 3. What does level 3 do? Heck if I know. Oh, we still got that. Power reserves 8. Gauges emergency power systems for all primary monoliths. I don't know. I'm excited to be playing this. This is really cool. Ah. Oh, so depending on what we aim at, it changes where we're going. What's this side one? To the archives. I think this would be cool to speedrun as well. Oh man, yeah. This this would be an amazing speedrun game. Purely from like uh there's a high skill cap. Probably. It looks freaking rad. And just like... A skilled speedrunner could do some hilarious and fascinating things to this. Wow, that's worth a lot of power. I wonder what's in the archives. It's expensive.
Let's see. Ow. Archives certainly is not kind. Holy crap. Okay, maybe leave archives for slightly later. That's yeah, fast, looks cool, needs skill, and could be raced. Yup. Might want to leave the archives for slightly later. That one seems a little bit punchier than the other areas. Unfortunately, I lack the uh, the skill to play this particularly well. I could get there if I wanted to, but I I don't. I'm just here to appreciate. Like that's kind of the consistent uh, story, I guess, of my channel. It's like I could probably be pretty good at a lot of games, but I'm just here to play as many of them as possible to see if anything will be worthwhile. And the answer is. Good lord, there's a lot of games that are actually worth, like, my time. There's probably too many. 